hello friends this is the ninth video tutorial into the machine learning video series so till now we have seen about uh, uh, machine learning prerequisite as a numerical python uh, library so from this lecture onwards we are going to le uh, start learning about the scikit-learn library which is nothing but the core machine learning library in this tutorial we will see about the data set of the machine learning set what are the data sets uh, available inside the machine learning how you can uh, deal with uh, those data set inside the, the scikit-learn uh, library so let's begin uh, let's see first what are the characteristic of the data set uh, should be there for the machine learning uh, making the machine learning system uh, first one is the number of record you should have uh, data about the how many records you have for the machine uh, designed a machine learning system as a input to the system the number of feature number of feature uh, is nothing but the characteristic of individual instance of the data so if you have a number of records and a number of feature you will have a total data which is having in a matrix format which is of size number of records and number of uh, feature number of record will be a number of rows and a number of feature will be a number of column in uh, next slide we'll see about how that actually organized into matrix structure you should uh, know about uh, the feature name individual features name and its description so how that feature is actually contributing to compute the output uh, value so that if you know about the actual in-depth description of that feature you can even ignore that feature based on uh, your requirement or you can give more weightage or less weightage to individual feature here actually one record is equal to multiple features so individual record contains the multiple feature and there is a one data which is a target output that for each record what should be the possible output in this output can be a continuous like in our regression case any value uh, real number can be possible or it can be discrete like in a classification uh, problem so these are all the machine learning data set characteristic that uh, for uh, describing any machine learning character uh, data set you should know about this uh, feature these are the characteristic uh, of that machine learning data set now let's see one hypothetical example of machine learning uh, data set so what i described in earlier side i have just put it into one tabular uh, format the same thing so this is the uh, green side we have a total five record which is nothing but our training data set and each record has a total four features so individual record is having a total four feature and one is the output the second record has having another four feature and a one is output so in this way total we have a five records and a four feature so our training data set matrix become five rows and a four columns the same way training data set output we have a total five values and we have a one column so the target database the output database matrix become five rows and a one column so in this way we get the training data set of five rows and a four column in this hypothetical uh, example in reality this number can be very high even a thousand even millions or even a billions also now these are all the training data set what is in a testing data set uh, you have any train uh, testing data set which is where you have been given this four feature and your objective is to compute this output value in a machine learning so that is what the machine learning uh, problem is uh, you have a training data set matrix you have a target uh, training set uh, matrix and you need to compute the output value for the test data set for the test data set for all the features has been given these features can be anything depending on the uh, different different data sets uh, let's see now different mm, database available uh, in uh, is uh, open source library so in this uh, uh, video lecture series we are going to use the scikit learn library uh, which is available into python the first and foremost thing into uh, machine learning is that uh, whatever kind of algorithm you use but if you have a more data you will get a better accuracy
that is the key point in a machine learning so in a scikit-learn library there are num couple of uh, data set which is already available like a boston data set which is having a number of features for each house and for each house based on that number of feature you are predicting the price of that house that is iris database set so it has a total of four different uh, four different kind of flowers are there based on its length and height so length and height becomes your uh, features and uh, the classification among these four different kind of flowers becomes your target there is a diabetes database uh, sets are available in the scikit-learn library and there is one digit data set so individual uh, digit has been given as a image and uh, the task is to identify which number as a numerical number exists in inside that digit so in a few next lecture we'll see individually this data set how that uh, data set uh, data has been organized in this matrix format how you can import inside the scikit-learn uh, library and further on lecture we'll see about what are the different algorithm you can apply on but these are all very toy database very the tiny kind of data set in actual machine learning system the data sets is are very huge but for our uh, learning purpose we'll start with this uh, simple four data set like a boston data set or iris diabetes or uh, digit uh, data set so these are all toy data set let's see about what is a huge data set so uh, as a machine learning community uh, uh, they have created one very big uh, 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 data set of images which is the uh, image net which is having a 1.4 million image so the task is to uh, find out of this 1.4 million uh, image every image has been categorized into some thousand different categories so if you have given a new image what is the actual object or what are the person exists inside that image the task is to identify that is the image net but this is a very huge so once you become an expert you can start working on uh, this huge data set there is a caltech 101 this is a, another image database which is having a uh, some I am not sure about but around 60,000 around or uh, nearly 1 lakh uh, 100,000 uh, images uh, are there uh, which is uh, organized into 101 different classes Caltech 256 that is the same as Caltech 101 which is having a 256 different classes uh, Stanford has released this house view uh, street view house number uh, database so these are the all database which is has been gathered by google self-driving uh, car while taking the photos of individual house and they have grabbed the house number inside uh, that the task is to find what is the number inside that what is the alphanumeric number or value inside that uh, you can consider the whole wikipedia as your large data set because uh, if you want to do some kind of tax analysis wikipedia can be the best source to give your machine learning as an input to actually test your system if you consider this uh, oh just google search application google is considering the whole internet is their data as an input so there is a numerous amount of data if you can any kind of application if you consider like amazon uh, product recommendation system so the based on the users buying habit what are the products user buying at what are the interval similar kind of uh, p uh, users has been grouped into uh, one single cluster so those kind of based on those kind of data amazon is considering their own database for their product recommendation uh, system the same way netflix uh, movie recommendation system work if you consider google news or any kind of uh, aggregated news website they are considering all news related website as their input data set so there is a huge amount of data sets are available once you become an expert uh, uh, into machine learning system you can uh, start working on this huge data set but uh, you can uh, I have given this link uh, where lot of experimental level database or machine learning beginner people those who experiment uh, for them the lot of data set links are uh, available uh, okay so this is all for the uh, uh, 
introduction related to uh, data set from next and next lecture onwards we will see about we individual data set which is a very toy tiny data set available into scikit learn library we'll import each and every uh, data set and uh, we'll see how to import it into particular matrix and then onwards we will see how to uh, process them so you will get actual idea about that what is the actual machine learning data set looks like and what is the characteristic of that what are the feature associated with based on individual uh, data set so that's it for this lecture uh, friends uh, i hope you enjoy uh, um, listening this video uh, do keep like comment and uh, subscribe it see you soon